we are going to Starbucks today. I need to get out of the house. Good morning everyone, let's get right into work. So the first thing I like to do is open up my calendar, my email, my Asana and my follow up boss. Those are my saved tabs up in my browser. And I, what I like to do is just start by going into my Asana and going into my tasks and seeing what I have overdue, what I have to do today based on my due dates. And I just like to reorganize everything, make sure everything is organized by order of priority. So what I like to do is have top um, three tasks, uh, top threes for the day. And those are my high priority tasks that have to get done that day. Everything else falls into the medium or low priority category. And after that, I go into my follow boss. So here I'm just going over my, this is my daily power hour pretty much that I have every day, Monday to Friday blocked off in my calendar where I am following up with leads. Here I got a showing request, so I was just giving a phone call to the agent and adding notes to the profile so that I know which you know their client is and if they're pre-approved and all the questions and the conversation that I asked. I am sending a follow-up text to them and um, just confirming the time and everything like that. Here I'm going back to following up. This is actually a lead that came in through the property's website on our website and they were inquiring for more information. So I'm just sending them a follow up there. actually gave them a phone call so I made sure I added some notes in there that they didn't pick up and this is my ongoing Google document where I keep ideas for follow boss and things that I want to improve on so I'm here using chat GPT which if you haven't heard of you definitely need to go check it out it's amazing it's AI powered technology I don't know how to explain it it's just a, a, an amazing tool to have for so many different cases but in here what I'm doing is asking the um, AI if uh, to give me a little text to send as a follow-up in Spanish to a buyer lead that I'm following up on and it's great for me too because uh, I'm bilingual I speak Spanish but I there are certain words that I want to sound very professional that I may not know or that I'm not sure of so she just or he or the, the AI gives me um, great ideas and I just copy and paste them and, and things like that. So that's what it's doing here. And I've been using it so much lately. I might do an entire video on it. If you are, you know, wanting to get some more ideas on how to use it for your real estate business. Again, here I'm just adding some notes that I gave this lead a call and they didn't answer. So I'm just continuing to follow up via text. And this is actually someone that I've, um, you know, ha met in person and everything actually at an open house. And I'm just following up with them to um, help them see properties and, you know, get them pre-approved and they're interested in new construction. So here I am getting ready to scan some documents for my new listing that I got. So this is the seller's property disclosure. So for this property, the sellers were able to fill out the seller's disclosure, but they weren't able to sign it at the same time because they were, th there's two sellers and they weren't together. So they were able to fill it out. So now I'm just uploading it, the scanned version to our side app, which is where we do like all of our documents and offers and things like that in contracts. And I'm just tagging it and adding all of the seller and um, seller's signature spots so they can initial it virtually via DocuSign. And here I'm using ChatGPT to follow up with a buyer lead that did not attend the initial phone call like via Calendly. And I love, again, I really love ChatGPT for this um, kind of things. Like I'm really optimizing a lot of my systems and processes and 
templates because of ChatGPT. So really, really love that. Here I am following up with a client that is interested in investing in real estate and growing their portfolio. So I'm just doing some phone calls, inquiring about uh, some properties and getting more details. I'm just trying to get some more information for my client and making notes on follow up boss and transferring my notes, my paper notes to follow up boss. So that's what I'm doing here. And now it's time to wrap it up and on to the next. Love Starbucks. It was really productive, so I'm actually really proud of myself. Yesterday, I was up since five in the morning and I went to sleep at like 11 p.m. And I was literally just on my computer all day working from home and I just I was mainly working on my asana because it was so unorganized and I had no idea like what was important what was not important I had like to-do list on paper sticky notes it was just a mess and when I'm not organized I'm not really productive because I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> or like what's important and I'm you know doing things that are not important blah 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 anyways that was pretty much my day yesterday my goal this week is to film a work week in my life so that's what you're watching right now this is gonna be a really busy week there's a few things that still need to happen today so today was more of like an admin day all day pretty much like I'm doing a lot of follow-ups or I did already all my follow-ups um, transaction management so I have a new listing and I was doing some like you know sending some documents for signature confirming showings things like that I have a listing appointment this week so I need to send out pre-listing packet email I need to send out um, or prepare like you know for the presentation itself so that's also something that I'm going to be doing and along with like listing marketing so like making sure because it's our second week on the market so I want to make sure that we're active and so I have to do like the social media post and just a lot of real estate related tasks that's the plan for today for the rest of the day I'm gonna work from home I look like a hot mess right now it is currently 8 30 and I am sitting back down to get some work done there's three things left on my to-do list Thursday and I am heading to a showing right now that I have on my listing um, I have one today and I have one tomorrow I've talked about this on my social media before but I don't think I've talked about it on YouTube I personally like to really show up for my showing appointments this is something I learned from Tiffany it's been great it's been very helpful to the buyer's agent because I go in I activate the home for them I have all the information ready the flyer I have I'm ready to answer all of their questions right then and there so that I can, you know, get a risk, uh, you know, figure out if they're gonna move forward quicker rather than later or sooner rather than later. Um, rather than, oh, okay, let me email them my questions, wait till I hear back from, you know, just a lot of back and forth trying to cut back on that and make it really easy for them and the buyers. It's really important to me. So I've gotten great feedback from the buyers, the buyers' agents in the past, and from my sellers. So I will continue to implement that. So that's where I'm heading to right now. I'm low on gas, so hopefully I don't run out of gas. But um, yeah, we're gonna get there right on time. Hopefully this weekend we can get under contract. That would be amazing. But I wouldn't be surprised if you know it takes a little longer than that, just with the market shift and everything like that. So let's see what happens. Guess what just happened? I just got a text that she canceled the show. She canceled the showing 15 minutes before. And my um, empty gas light just came on. So I have to turn around. <laughs> um, 15 minutes before she cancels, they're gonna pass on the property. Well, I need to turn around and also call my clients. We're gonna turn around and put some gas in. Hopefully I don't run out of gas in the middle of nowhere. Okay, it's not really in the 
the middle of nowhere. It's just a lot of nature. Well, good thing we made it to the gas station. Make a quick stop for lunch. I've decided to go back home. I thought I was gonna go to, you know, Starbucks or a coffee shop, but I'm just gonna go back home, get some work done. I still need to do laundry and like finish folding my laundry, finish cleaning my room. Like that's the thing with being an agent or sorry, being um, like having your own schedule is that, you know, for me, like I'm doing open houses. If I'm not doing open houses all day on Saturdays, I'm doing editing all day on Saturday. And Sunday is typically like my reset day. So, um, or like my rest day where I try not to do anything because I have a tendency of like burning myself out because I overwork too much. Anything that I can't get done on Sundays on my reset day, which is my only off day really, um, it gets throughout the week. So I need to finish my laundry. Um, I just need to fold it, put it away. I cleaned up my room this morning. My desk needs to be organized so bad because I just have like piles and piles of documents, papers everywhere. My cart, um, my little three-tier cart that I use to organize all my supplies and stuff. It's a hot mess right now. I need to reorganize that. I got the goods. That's that's my order. <laughs> so I just made it back home. I am going to refresh my room real quick. Try to go finish putting my laundry away, finish the last round of laundry, and then we'll get into work. Because I cannot work in a messy space. I just can't, so that's what we're gonna do right now. While I clean, I'm gonna wear my AirPods. While I clean up and organize, I'm gonna listen to the Think Media podcast, which I have been loving lately, so let's get started. Nothing like working from a clean and organized space. So now I'm going to work on um, my newsletter that I'm trying to send out today. Um, I use Active Pipe to send out my newsletter because it's connected to my follow-up boss. So that's what I'm using to send everything out. It's been sent. This is nerve wracking. It was sent to over 3,000 people. So we can mark this off of my to do list. So I am currently working on the Facebook post for my open house this weekend. I already did this last time I did the open house there, so I'm just duplicating it, but always just trying to fix a few of the details here and then like the date 18th everything else looks good and then i need to update the cover photo this one has the correct date and then i'm actually going to add my other page as a co-host because show up on both and then okay so I think everything else looks great date everything looks good so I'll we'll just hit create and we're 
sweet. And there it is. Now we get a little bit more exposure, so it's always good. And then I just posted um, this as well to promote it. So I also posted it on my other account with a different audio. So in Spanish. What I have left to do is I have to go pick up the flyers for my new listing. Um, I sent them. There's a few at the property already that I printed out myself, but I um, ordered more. So I'm going to go pick them up at Office Depot. I'm going to do that on my way to the gym, which you guys are going to come along with me for that as well. I have, so that's one thing on my to-do list. And then the other thing was to prepare a pre-listing presentation in Spanish. Um, but I don't know if I'll have enough time to actually do that maybe I can start it um, but I don't know if I'll be able to finish it so we'll see about that so I think one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about that I'm it's currently like going on in my business is that I currently have like a schedule of like eight to six right quote unquote because a lot of the time I end up like working outside of six o'clock or outside of 8 a.m but i'm really trying i want to try something new of trying to fit you know the um a lot of my real estate business stuff between my nine to five um i really want to try that because number one i want to have more time this year for self-care so like again going to the gym um you know having my morning routine um, cooking breakfast like those things because i feel like i have sacrificed a lot of my health with you know stress like i have i i go through a lot of mental stuff like stress anxiety depression i struggle with that trying to do different things to have more time for self-care so again like I'm trying to structure my day so five to nine is like myself a self-care time or um and then you know after six o'clock i also need to make time for my media company so i have really big goals for my media brand which is you know my youtube channel my more of my content creator influencer side and that's my passion really like that's really what drives me it takes a lot of time last year late last year i hired a video editor and my marketing and brand personal brand strategy was completely different than right now at the time you know i hired the, the editor and i was gonna do more like um you know real estate consumer content in my personal youtube channel and i was gonna do a mixture of two and it just didn't work out like analytics wise um yeah if you guys i mean you guys are probably can tell like my views have gone down a lot and i wasn't feeling inspired at all last year like last year was such a struggle for me i think ever since i joined a line let's put it that way i have struggled with you know who's what's my brand um because i was i started out as a new agent and things like that but the truth is that when I joined a line and you know started having conversations with Tiffany, she was she really brought up the topic that you know being branded as a new realtor might hurt business, you know, might hurt my how how clients look at me, especially if I'm trying to go after you know the big leagues um, and you know trying to service the luxury clients and attract those kind of clients that being branded as a new real estate agent is going to hurt my brand for that so that's why you can tell with time and the, um i started i stopped kind of using those keywords um and trying to change them um so but at the same time i was struggling with okay you know how am i gonna i was overthinking a lot of how i wanted to be presented in front of the camera and um at the beginning of this year i decided to separate at least in my inside my head maybe you guys can know notice no difference but for me it makes a huge difference the fact that i decided okay i am not going to post any real estate consumer content on my personal brand channel because this is my diary almost this is my my way of sharing my journey authentically with like no um not no regrets but really like no one 
you know, this is my personal space, my baby, and I want to be able to talk about whatever it is that I want to talk about that I feel might benefit you on the other side of the camera. So I decided to separate that and so I took out a lot of my real estate content, like property tours that I was doing and things like that. Started a new, new YouTube channel, which I am still figuring out the logistics of it because I like... I pretty much divided two brands again and I have like my personal brand, my real estate brand and now I'm trying to create content consistently for both of those brands. So it did help mentally in a way for me to like get out of that creative block and start creating content that I want to create and that you guys want to see and but at the same time it's kind of more work for me. But you guys in this whiteboard i started like brainstorming ideas of how i can you know be more efficient with like editing and with putting out more content and one of the things that i put in there yeah one of the things that i put in there was to manage my time better and i know that concept is you know not everyone agrees with it but you know really being efficient with where i'm allocating my time and my resources so trying out this new thing of the nine to five for my real estate business, you know, what's mo most important and five to nine is, you know, self-care time or anything outside of my nine to five is either self-care or immediate work. And the weekends don't count because a lot of the time, like I spend an entire Saturday or entire Sunday just editing a video. So the weekends, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with them so that I don't burn out and I do have time for like rest and stuff. but that's phase two of this trial thing so i don't know i just wanted to share that that's where i'm kind of at right now of course it's hard um giving myself only nine to five for work because in real estate you pretty much work 24 7 you're on 24 7 so i'm not also limiting myself to like oh i'm not gonna receive oh i'm not gonna make a phone call or answer a phone call after five o'clock but it's more so like the I'm working on the business or in the business during those hours. Anything after that is, you know, either super important listing or showing appointments or important phone calls, negotiations, writing offers, things like that. But I've been really good about making that being very um, setting boundaries for those times. So I think it's going to be fine. I think we're going to be just fine. <sighs> so I just wanted to share that with you. That's where I'm at right now. So let's start working on this pre-listing presentation because i haven't they haven't confirmed like the date and time just yet so i want to have this ready to go as soon as they say oh we're gonna meet on this date i want to send this ahead of time so i'm gonna use high note start getting ready for the gym to start heading out made it to office depot gonna pick up the flyers i'm already dressed for the gym so then after this i'm heading right across to the gym gotta get the b-roll footage got the goods to the gym it's empty i got here a little bit early my class is at seven and it's currently 6 35 gonna start warming up and see how rusty i am because <laughs> i haven't been here in like a week so they have this wall here and this is basically everyone that does like a hundred classes can write on the wall. They also give them like um, gold gloves, which is really special because all the other ones are like like lace. So it's good.
Thank you so much for watching. Since you're here already, I think you're really gonna like this video right here, so make sure you check it out and I'll see you in there. So we are in my new listing right now. The buyers are actually outside walking around the property because this is a five acre property. So I just finished showing them inside. I shared with them my binder, which I've talked about before. Um, it just has a lot of good, every single detail about the property that they may ask in there. And yeah, my clients still have their Christmas tree up. But yeah, this is a very beautiful property. Um, they have some little birds here and horses in the back, which we might go take a look. Dios <laughs> mio. Okay, birds and I like don't really get along. Horses and dogs. Birds and cats, not really. Okay, anyway, so I am just gonna wait for them to finish walking around the property and um, for them to leave and then I just got a text from actually a client that I just closed with recently that she needs help setting up her water connection. Um, she is in Brazil right now, so she's not able to connect with them via phone call. So I'm um, gonna do that for her. If you are <clears throat> a new agent, that's not something that we typically do. It's, it's not like in our duties per se, but I'm gonna, I do it. I'm gonna help her, you know, as a favor. Um, in other transactions, I actually, my transaction coordinator offers a service that is called Utility Helpers, and they help my clients set up the utilities for them. It's like a concierge service. So it's great, and that's what I typically do, but for this deal, I wasn't using my TC, I was using my partner's TC. Anyways, not the point. So when we get home, that's something that I'm gonna be working on is on helping her set up her water um, while she's in Brazil. They just left and I've been here for 45 minutes. I think this is really good. They really loved the house. <laughs> Just got back home. I am getting ready to email the high note presentation to the buyer's agent here so that they can review it with their clients. And it's great as a follow-up email. I'm also using chat GPT to generate the follow-up email text. Just finished eating lunch. I have a call in 10 minutes. I also have to do that phone call to help my clients set up her water stuff. So we did send out the present follow-up presentations that's Good. Oh, well, I tried to connect you. There, my family's watching a movie in the background, so if you hear Claudia with a chance of meatballs too, that's what's playing in the background. Story of my life. Okay, can I have your first one, thank you? No, I, I wasn't sure if we were still if we were still able to do that through us, but apparently we, we don't um, actually turn the service on anymore. Okay. Um, he said that you did would need to add a country and then go from there. Okay, yeah, let's start there and we'll see what we can do. Um, and if you needed anything on my end to help out, uh, just let me know. Okay, this is my cell phone number and I'll email you my information as well. Okay, that would be great. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Teresa. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Just finished editing this video and now I'm just gonna wait for it to export and then upload it and or you know start uploading it to YouTube on scheduled and then I tomorrow I'll edit the thumbnail the tags and upload it and everything like all the little details in the thumbnail description tags chapters all those things and then upload it on Sunday today's Friday so I'm so surprised though because I edited this in like a few hours like a few hours in the morning and a few hours now so I'm actually really really proud of myself for that because it usually takes me a long time so this means that I can you know keep putting out more consistent content and um, you know still keep a nice quality so I am it's currently 7 34 I'm actually really exhausted so I'm gonna start heading to bed and I'll see you tomorrow for the open house it's Saturday, so it's time for open house. And I'm so excited because I actually ordered this little cart yesterday and it's perfect for organizing all my open house supplies. So now my car is not filled with bags and just 
bags on bags on bags. It's just that one thing that holds everything. And I'm really happy about it because I really, you know, when I'm doing open houses pretty much every single weekend now. So it just makes it easy to always have everything ready to go. So I'm ready to go. Um, I also got my bag which so what I do is like I put all my open house supplies over there and then for my um I take that and this bag so this is like obviously my work bag so it has my wallet you know my laptop things like that but it also holds you know all my content stuff so like my tripods and everything so I switched bags I have the base uh mini work bag work tote and then I have the big one. So this is the big one, and this is the one I use for all my open houses every time that I'm doing content because it just fits so much more. The other one is more for like daily stuff. So I'm excited to share today with you guys. This property is stunning. It's a brand new townhouse community um, near downtown Tampa. It's listed at 965,000. It's a really cool and fun layout. We're gonna do the open house there. I didn't check the weather yesterday, so I just realized today that it's gonna be thunderstorm pretty much all day today. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about my signs. I don't know what I'm gonna, you know, how it's gonna go today. Because of that, we'll see. I still have plan B, you know, in case it's not too busy. Like I still have work to do um, and content to do and things like that, but. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, for now, it's currently 9:15. Open house is at 12. I'm gonna start heading there. I might get there early and maybe like do content before, because usually after the open house, I'm so exhausted that I just want to like eat something and go home. So yeah, let's just start heading to the open house now. I just got to the property and I parked in the garage because the front is gated. So just parked in the garage area so that it's easier for me to like down download. Um, bringing all the stuff, but oh my god, it smells so good. This is brand new construction, so it smells so good to me. <laughs> um, like all the, it's just new construction smell. I really like it. So I am going to start unloading all of the things in. To put it in here and what i did last time this is my second time hosting an open house in this property is i set up shop in the first floor bedroom which i like it because i need to open the blinds but i can see the entrance so i can see anytime someone's coming in um and it has like a little desk area and i got this new a trolley thing that turns into a seat so for stick for situations like this where there's no chair hello oh, I'm, i can't wait to share it with you guys so we're going to start unloading turning off all the lights opening the blinds putting some music this is one of the features that i really like about this is that look at that it slides perfectly in there and so I'll just bring it in. <laughs> Don't look. Let's set this up in here for now. So what I did last time was um, like they, were, they, have, they have this like hitting over there. So this is where I set up like the flyers and stuff. This is where I set up my area. And then I would come in here and greet everyone. And because it is a three story and you know, like if they're unrepresented, like I'm happy to tour them and stuff and like lock the doors while I'm with them. And then if they are represented, then I would tell them to just, you know, go take a look and let me know if they have any questions. So, oh my God, I'm a little bit out of breath. And I came this time around, like I came more prepared to move around and stuff because last time I was wearing a dress and it was not very practical um, because like, you know, there's three stories and if I'm, you know, I couldn't go up with people behind me and putting out signs was not very 
functional. <laughs> so I came prepared to move around today. This is my little trolley cart. This, I just got it from Amazon, delivered yesterday. And I was looking for something that could fit as much as possible, like all of my open house supplies. And, um, you know, it, this one is great too, because again, like it has this card cover, so I can use it as the seat as well, like here, for example, where there's no seat in the open house. And it fits, oh my gosh, it's so good. So I'm gonna do a, an entire tour of this for my TikTok, so I'm sure I'll share it here with you, but make sure to follow me on TikTok. And um, so again, this is from Amazon. The only thing I wish, I'll have it linked below. Um, the only thing I wish is that it was like 360 wheels so that it would be, you know, kind of like the new kind of suitcases where you can scroll, scroll them around like this. Like this one, you have to tilt it. So it only has like the two back um, wheels. So that's fine. You know, it is what it is. It wasn't crazy expensive either. So again, I'll have it linked in my Amazon shop. This bag, so I have two of these. Um, I have the mini version and a, or like the regular size version. This is the big work tote by base. And um, this is what I use for like open houses or content days because it fits so much. Like it fits a lot. So this is on my in there. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff in here. So yeah, a bunch of content stuff, like my makeup bags, everything like that. So I'm gonna do an updated what's in my work bag video soon, so stay tuned for that. But I'll have this linked below as well if you wanna get one for yourself. So here are my signing sheets. is that it attaches to the flyers. So these are the flyers and has these two sections here where you can add these. So there we go. So it attaches to the flyer thing and these are from Amazon. Again, all of this is linked in my Amazon shop if you're interested. What I like to do is I like to hide my speaker behind my, I'll show you my setup here in a second. So one of the next things that I'm gonna be ordering from Amazon is like a fold, focus. It's a foldable um, shoe cover holder so that I can fold it and fit it in here because I was using a metal one, but that one's like an extra thing to carry on. So I'm gonna get a foldable one and then just have these out because the owner of this property prefer for people to put these on, especially if they have shoes, because obviously it's brand new, floors are brand new, so gonna have those out and there they go. That's why I also wear these so that I don't have to put these on. In addition to these items that I put out, I also have here in the front pocket my buyer guides that I printed out and I don't put those out. I keep them with me and if I see, if I meet a buyer here that I feel like it's a great lead and someone that's unrepresented and someone that I can work with in the future, I would give that out to them. It has my business card in there and all my information and a bunch of like great information for buying a house. So it's just a great takeaway for them to have and it's very nice. So I keep those handy with me here on the desk or wherever I am so that Again, I can give those out if I meet a great potential new buyer. And I'm gonna my pants and this. And now this is my chair. Like this. This is amazing. 
best purchase ever. So I just, I just took, oh, I got a new lead, hold on. Hi Jeremy, this is Julianis with Align Real Estate. I received your inquiry about my listing on 13980 O'Connor Road in Kathleen. I'd love to answer any questions you may have and get you, you know, to schedule a private showing if you'd like. Please give me a call back. My phone number is 813-590-0089. Thanks so much and talk soon. So I'm gonna send them a text. It's currently 1.36. No one has stopped by the open house yet and it's, like I said, like the weather is not the prettiest right now. It's gonna start thunderstorm here in a minute um, or in a little bit. So it's definitely slow, but I've been productive. You know, I posted on social media. I filmed a YouTube video. I, um, what else? I'm planning like some content for YouTube. I edited a thumbnail for a new video that's going live tomorrow, so been pretty productive so hopefully it all goes well with this lead and um we can you know help them out it's starting to get darker outside but i have some time right now so i want to start planning my week for next week on google calendar so that's what i'm gonna start doing um i typically when i start like booking my workouts um so that i can work around that so I just booked one for tomorrow, which is Sunday, but Monday I'm gonna do full body and um, I typically choose either between like the first super early one or like the latest one. So just depends on my schedule and how I'm feeling, but at least just getting them booked. And again, like I'm trying to implement the nine to five week. So I actually need to update my Calendly as well so that it you know it's all uh, uh synchronized um but i already have like weekly recurring things so for example my personal time block off my daily wrap block off my morning check-in um and like follow-up drop-off things so i don't know how to explain it <laughs> i'll have to do a video on this soon but so i need to put in my lunch times which is no one And I need to, I'm not doing this, I'm going to eat it. Okay, I have a phone call that day. Um, so I need two blocks for editing this video. So this can go next week. So this day I will take a day of work online. Okay, so it's currently five o'clock. I left the open house and sadly nobody came to the open house, but that's okay. We were still productive, still got some work done. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you in my next video.